Yeah, what's up? It's fresh air on another one. This is uh, me being uh, very smart about things. Just listen up. We all have a plan in this world. We got things we gotta take care of. It starts with us. I've been waiting for all this time for this opportunity to speak out. But everybody can find themselves. It's really hard to change because of everything going on with the world. And a lot of us just, you know, a lot of things are hard to take in. That most of your life you've been lied to, you know what I'm saying? And you don't really want to believe anybody. You know? But you gotta trust God. He's the one. He's the one that's gonna take you there. Yeah. Believe in yourself that you can do you and be the best you. There's a lot of things a lot of people don't know that's going on in this world that you were you only begin to start thinking that I believe in you. The world can be a hurtful place. We can be manipulated too easily by our distractions and the things we're searching in life. And the things we're looking for, the material things that get us stuck in our brains are we need this to be down the game. And so then we start to kind of live that lifestyle and we start learning about things and that makes you feel a certain way. You feel like some people don't want to listen to you or you don't want to talk about it because it's going to put you down. You know, like they're going to put you down and you know, don't say anything because can't. It's not the truth. But see, it is. The truth is, together we can find it within ourselves to do the right thing. Through that line. A moment at a time, you know what I'm saying? See, you gotta believe in yourself. That's the truth. Believe in yourself. Hold fast. I feel your pain. I feel your sorrow. I feel everything you're going through. I've been told, don't give up, believe in yourself, transform yourself, be as the strongest you ever possible, believe in your intuition that you are loved and cared about by God above, and that he has a message for you and a plan for you too, believe in good things happening, not always bad, we don't have to be stuck in the past, we don't have to look at that. We don't have to have the future be our demise from our past, you know, so we got to lift up our hearts to other people too and say, I feel you, I understand you, I have empathy for you, I believe in you, I know you can do better. You can believe in yourself and have that intuition in yourself that you're doing the right thing and that you're doing everything out of love and respect for everybody regardless. And that there's no ties between it, that the truth will set you free and that God above is going to take you there. No problem. Believe in the suffering that I am taking is for you. So I can be a better man to be the strength and honor. To understand this in a better way, we can be happy. We can be happy without that sadness behind the camera. When the recording goes on, what happens? We have this facade that everything's great. But then the advice we give out is what? Believe in yourself that you can give better advice. Believe in yourself that you can greater, have more honor and respect for yourself. That the things you're doing, uh uh, come on. Be real with the people in the community and understand your influences is a very important, vital part of this world. And that you know that the things you say can mold and manipulate the minds of the millions of the masses of youth in this world that are struggling to understand their identity. Where does this come from? God is love and respect. Not delusion. Illusion. Deludu. It's love and respect for each other. Know who you are and what you represent. Know what's in your side yourself that you can believe in yourself. How great in yourself will carry you through to know the right things to do. That the time is now 2024. This is fresh air. Speaking the truth. Through God is my witness. I speak the truth. God is love and respect that you can believe in yourself. We don't have to point out other people's flaws and things while we're all growing together, being a better person. 
It's gonna take some time, I know that, but every day's a new day. We can do it. Woo! Let the spirit shine bright through you and me as we rise to say there's a better way. God is love and everything in between. We have forgiveness, understanding, empathy, and we make an effort to change our ways and our habits every day, the things that distract us and get us out of our way. That you can feel that you are worthy. God knows you're worthy. Everybody that feels it, God knows you're worthy. Everybody's suffering right now, God knows you're worthy. Yeah. Isn't that amazing? Gosh. I'm, I'm taken back because the love of the Spirit within me is speaking the truth with all my might. My world and my life is in private because of the certain attacks in the spirit world and the war that goes on in the spirit realm. Intricate parts of this world are all important. People that are strong and will minded and good at what they do and speak the truth for the greater good of all humanity. That we believe in ourselves. We have to search outside ourselves for validation by a like or how many views we got or how many people are watching our live stream. And then you have to understand that's all just a persona. Today said the year of unveiling the truth. God is just here to say he loves you. Have forgiveness in yourself to understand that there is a power greater than you that can carry you through to do the right thing in your life. You have to live in the way you have that you've been taught and manipulated into the way you have been living. You know that there's a better way. You know that there, you can feel better inside. You don't have to feel the, the sinfulness of everything that has happened. You can be forgiven. If you ask for forgiveness from God above, He will save you. He will take you to the promised land and understand that you are worthy. God is love and respect. Find it in your heart to do the right thing. Every day is a new day to understand and have a message that you are worthy. Have respect for yourself and do the right thing. You don't have to be out there speaking all the time to everybody, but just know your role and know your lane, where you fit in, where you belong. Know that I feel you too, yeah. Oh yeah, ah. Lord, seriously, the love will find a way. Yeah. Ah. Wow. No, seriously, man, it's no joke. This is not a life matter. I want you guys to know I feel pain. You know, when I start thinking and having some of these messages, I'm, I'm giving this opportunity to speak about it. With clarity and understanding that we have a greater good for each and every one of you out there. That your generational curses can be broken by just believing in yourself and bring it back to the traditions that we had for thousands of years. Bring the families together. Bring the family structure so you have feel, feel like you have meaning. And you have understanding that we have to work on our relationships with ourselves so we can have a better relationship with others. So when we start questioning ourselves and why we speak the way we speak, we have to understand that we can be hurting people. Just by our words. So have respect for yourself that you're coming out of hurt sometimes when we say things. Or we have an understanding because we were hurt when we learned that. And then we have to challenge ourselves to believe in a thing greater than ourselves will carry us through. You will have a different mindset in how you look at things. You will start learning to be better with yourself. Better with yourself so you're not going outside yourself to search for validation that you mean something because God above is not even knowing that you're meaning something as long as, like I said, search for forgiveness, repent, believe in yourself. You can do it. I promise that. I know everybody's situation is different and when they come to listen, 
This might be the first time to really feel the blessings of the Lord really shining down bright. To be free from your distractions, to believe in yourself that you are loved and respected. Yes. That is love. You have a wonderful day. Amen.